Stormy, and here's your horoscope for July of 2020. We're Sagittarius this month. We're going to see Capricorn energy getting reignited, right? We've got Jupiter and Pluto over here, Paulus Athena traveling over there, but Saturn's going to come back to the table in the retrograde path. And what this gives us an indicator of right as we come into the month, Sagittarius, is that we want to relook at the financial area of your life, the value area of your life. Now, that is not to put any fear on the table. It is simply an energy that says we need to make some corrections or some adjustments Adjustments here, but it needs to be done in a very organized, detail oriented, kind of tedious fashion just to make sure all of the ducks are in the row. That's the sense I keep getting as I go over your horoscope is we really need to dig into the details of things as it's happening this month. But the challenge is we're in high retrograde, most specifically mercury retrograde so our most mental detail oriented energy is in retrograde but if you're going back over something you'll have the help of being able to dig into the details here and make sure everything is spick and span spot and ready to go as energies begin to move forward so let's jump in sagittarius and talk about what's going on this month so like I said, right at the beginning of the month on the 1st, we see Saturn moving back into the energy of Capricorn, so lighting up this second house space. Now this is nothing new. The second house of value, of self-esteem, of money, of how you make money, your budgets, all of these things, your possessions, this is not new. You've been looking at this area for a couple years, right? So now as Saturn stepped into Aquarius, you had this like flash of ideas of how to do this area different or different things presented themselves. But now Saturn is coming back and it says, okay, Sag, are we organized? Is the self-discipline put in place here? There's no freedom without some kind of discipline discipline you know so you're going to relook over this particular area from now until December and Saturn really wants to make sure that he has helped you come to this next level it's not about oh sad you should be stressed it's not that Saturn says I need you to be serious because I want to take you to the next level and create a foundation especially a financial one a value one an esteem one that you can stand on for the next 30 years how great that is good news for us now as we move forward just a couple days to the 5th, we're going to also have a full moon lunar eclipse happening in this area, Sag. So this says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted over this next six months. So to take us into 2021, Saturn is leaving no, no stone unturned to make sure you can really be well and grounded and healthy in this particular area. Now, because this is going to bring some adjustment, one of the things it does make me think of is really truly get into those bank statements, get into taxes, get into information that is of finance or value for you and really make sure you have all the details. If you've been paying off debt or even if you are paying your normal regular bills, I would tell you that because we're still in a mercury retrograde, please make sure to save your receipts save your receipts all of those things just hold tight to them heavy retrograde activity it can come out of retrograde time and then people are like i'm sorry i didn't see the payment so actually write down and keep that confirmation number all of that stuff keep your eyes on your financial prize here as well now the other thing i keep thinking of there's a gentle touchdown with this particular lunar eclipse that involves Mercury, Mars, and your personal planet, Jupiter. So one of the things that I keep seeing for you is that yes, there are financial and value changes, but also maybe you are, this is telling you to end something about yourself. Like maybe you're detoxing in some way, shape or form, right? Or you're like, and a detox can just be to cut your hair. Right, Whatever it is, it seems like there is a personal, very personal change that's available um, that I think you catch up within about three to four weeks. Instead of having it to wait six months, I think you start seeing a very physical change in the next two or three weeks to yourself. And then the full effects of that, we see how that shaped your new identity in the next six months. So just want you to look out for those things as well. On the 12th, we see Chiron, our wounded healer, moving into retrograde until December of this year. Now, Chiron retrograding in the energy of Aries lights up the fifth house space for you. But this is about the identity, right? 
the Chiron is our hole in our soul. He's our wounded healer, but he is also our teacher because it is through the wound or through the denial of Aries self energy that as we share that with other people, we become free and we give them freedom as well. So this is some of the greatest teaching energy that you've got. And in the question of your identity to thine own self, be true Sagittarius in this area of your life with your children around business, around projects, around your self expression, around what makes Sag Sag? What do you have to say? We've spoken a lot, Sag, this year about shifts that have happened in the identity, especially around sexuality or around desires that you have. Um, so is this is this working its way into your psyche? Does this is this even the place where you really are starting to accept yourself or you're beginning to do the work of accepting this new identity that you have, whatever that looks like? And for some people, this is gonna be bigger than just that it's going to be do I have a whole new religious idea or expression do I have a whole new political expression and here in the Chiron energy though you're going to go to to thine own self to be true and to the acceptance of self and the new identity that you're going to work on integrating and assimilating over this next um, handful of months until we close out this year now on the 12th we're going to see Mercury um, coming out of retrograde. He's going to come direct. Now the stationing day is always the day that it is the hardest. There's just like instability in the air. So your gadgets could go crazy. Your partners could go crazy. It lights up the eighth house for you. It could just be a day of some instability. Let it pass. Let Mercury resume his orbit, have his little latte and get his life together. And then we can really start to work with this energy. But because this is stationing into direct motion, one of the things I have a sense of is, is that you've done all this second house work, which is about how you make money, your value, your budget, all of these things. But during the Mercury retrograde, perhaps a spouse or a partner or something you were jointly connected with um, was reevaluating this area as well. And now as Mercury is direct, changes to this area, changes to some financial decisions, changes to financial perspective, changes to the connection that has been intimately made here can be adjusted as Mercury is direct. And it is emotionally intelligent and sound. The head and the heart are in the right direction. For many people, at least in the United States, um, there could be shifts seen to unemployment and things like that. So this is also the, sp the space of making a the decision of how you're going to take care of your security, Cancerian energy, next. Now we're also going to have on July 20th a new moon in the energy of Cancer at 28 degrees. So planting the seeds of intention for what's new, what's next, what's coming in this area of your life. In the 8th house area too, I do think for some of you, taxes, insurance, inheritance, any of these things could fall in here. But because that lunar eclipse at the beginning of the month kind of did a little flick onto your personal Jupiter energy, this could be a place of psychological death for you where you are really lending yourself to a different identity, a different perspective, a different um, layer of you that lives out in public. So there could also be some therapy or some astrology that's happening for you to stay the path and stay the course and understand the growth as well. Now, as we close out this month, we're going to see the sun entering into the energy of Leo, bringing light, heat, life, and vitality, fellow fire energy, whatever the energies are moving and fellow fire energies. I just feel like there's a little party, right? So this is like a fire party and Leo is down to party, right? And you always like a good time, Sag. You're just a happy-go-lucky sign. So here, bringing light, heat, life, and vitality, a little party to the ninth house. This could be things in training. This could be things in higher education beliefs, certainly things if you've got legal things going on, you could see some paperwork or see some information coming to your table. But ultimately what's happening here is this is a very expressive energy and it's an energy that is ready to move and ready to do a little bit of a little bit of leadership, a little bit of taking something in a different direction. So I do think... Um, <clears throat> If you've been wanting to study, you've been wanting to get some different training, you've been wanting to do international business, translation, something like that, the sun brings a movement and a motivation to the table in this particular energy where you can see those opportunities coming to flourish. But this also be very expressive 
and so much government interference and so much government um, stuff going on in the world, especially around work. You could find yourself, if you are a part of a union or something like that, needing to have conversations with your unions as well. So interesting month, Sag. I don't think this is anything short of interesting. It never is, right? But there are still plenty of decisions to be made and definitely things to go over. And remember that sometimes as things start when we're in heavy retrograde energy, we don't always see them fully um, manifest themselves until the retrograde comes to an end. So something you also could get going or you're adjusting here, you may see the full manifestation for that around September timeframe as we get more out of the heavy retrograde of things. So it's going to be a good month, Sag. Take the opportunity to live with big integrity. Live big. It's a good fire month as well, okay? All right, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, Sag. I love you and I look forward to seeing you and supporting you all month long. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Sag.